Mike Heck here for MMAfighting.com, backstage at BKFC 19. The show just wrapped up. We're here with one of the big winners, as you can tell by the medal, Britton Hart with the big win over Jenny Savage. And I guess the first question I have is, this fight was sort of the people's main event in a way. Everybody was looking at this, the rivalry, the, the grudge, all of that stuff. Do you feel like there's a weight lifted off your shoulders, like you can finally put Jenny behind you from a competitive standpoint? Yeah, absolutely. I think that this has been going on. Um, I've told everyone it was kind of exhausting, but it's gone on since like December. So I am super, you know, and it was kind of like social media going back and forth. So it's super awesome that I'm in a sport where we can settle it in the ring and not have legal consequences. So I'm glad. I think she was pretty respectful and cool after the fight. So I'm thankful for that. And um, that was nice. But yeah, I think I've proven time and time again that I'm going to be the better fighter and that I'm always competitive and I always show up to fight and be the people's event and give the people what they want and, and kind of show that. And so, you know, the main event was really good tonight, but I still think, um, you know, I still earned earned the people's main event. And I still think in the future I, I've earned main events. So we'll see what goes coming forward. There's a lot of talk about the overhand right, and you said she had a good overhand right, and she thought you, she kind of interpreted it like that was the only thing she had. Did, did she surprise you at all tonight? Was there, was there anything she did tonight that you just, it kind of took you off guard a little bit? She actually surprised me with her lack of. I was really expecting her to be super aggressive in my face, um, hitting angles. I was really prepared for that. So when she kind of, it was actually a good strategy for her because when she just stood there, I was like, oh, man, now I have to go get you. And, you know, I don't really want to work harder than I have to, but whatever. So I think that's why you guys saw the slow start. So I had to put some work in. So whatever, it worked out. But she did surprise me, you know, with how, um, you know, just plotty she was I thought she was a really good mover and would come forward and press it on me but she made me think a little bit one thing we talked about the other day was in terms of putting this rivalry officially to rest she would have to apologize to you do you feel like we've we've gotten past this thing we're, we're cool now or are we still there's still like little pieces of that hanging around I mean I feel like you know she said we talked about it and I kind of told her that and I I feel like she did apologize to me in some way I would like it to be more like a little bit more publicly like written like make a social media post and be like I'm sorry Britton Hart you're awesome and great fighter and all that personal bullshit that I said to you was a lie and I would like that but you know I'm not gonna press it I'm over it I'm trying to get better not bitter 2021 has been a crazy year for you the page fight the, I'm a feeling thing that that took off and now you get another big win and of course Taylor I know you guys are talked about in, in terms of fighting but the money's got to be there so forth and so on but I got to add like a little competitive nugget to this if there's like a bare knuckle breakout fighter of the year is it you or I mean I love Taylor I think she's awesome I'm super proud but like let's be real Taylor fought Charissa who's not very good and uh she fought you know coming in as a pro debuter they had a banger and then she fought against pearl which was like the worst female fight i've ever seen in the history of bkfc you know it was a tear i mean i'm sorry but it was a terrible fight super boring um and then she fought you know a new girl that came in her weight was way you know under and i don't know like i'm not being mean and i a lot of respect to that fighter coming in but her record before was like two and nine so for me Breakout fighter, I mean, if I get to have fighters that come in that are two and nine, I'm gonna beat them too. So I would like to see Taylor against someone really tough and see and see that type of fight for her to be a breakout fighter. For me, I fought an ex UFC person, Paige Van Sant. I fought a one and no girl who's already fought in bare knuckle. Um, you know, and I've had that experience and I've leveled up and shown that. And so to me, I feel like I'm the breakout fighter. What did you think in the main event? You were right there sitting with your husband celebrating your win, you were taking it all in. What did you think of the main event? Did it surprise you, the result, and how the fight actually played out? Um, we actually picked Rachel to win, and I, I said it over and over. I think Rachel's awesome, so I have respect for females that way, you know? Uh, I don't have to be disrespectful at the end of the day. It is all business, but I super wanted Rachel to win. I'm, ha I'm happy she did, but I, did, I thought it was going to be, I didn't think it would go all five rounds. And I really want to be fight of the night because, you know, I really want that spotlight, but 
that was a hell of a fight. It was super entertaining to watch. I loved watching it. It was a great, great fight. And it shows that BKFC has top level fighters. It has the most entertaining fights. And that's why we are the fastest combat sport, growing sport. Two last quick things. I know everyone's like, hurry up, get her out of here, get her out of here. But what about Pearl? Is that a fight that kind of makes sense just due to the name or anything? Or is, do you feel like you're, you're beyond her at this point? I mean, yeah, I think I'm beyond her. I would definitely take that fight. I think it's an easy fight, you know, for me. So, and then just another headlining name that I get to take, pick apart. So I would like that fight. And again, I don't turn away from any fight. So whatever the fight they want to give me, but that would be a great one for me. You know, again, it's somebody I have to work for and go get because it seems like she's a little plotty too. But hey, whatever. You were sure when you married Joey, like this is the one you knew was going to happen. Are you sure than sure now after before the post fight interview, him coming through with the, with the teeth and everything for you? I mean, that is <laughs> that is love. The definition of love, is it not? I know that is real love. No, I knew it before um, this fight. Uh, you know, he told me win, lose, whatever. He 100 percent. 100% believes in me, but I had nothing to worry about, and I know that for a fact. So uh, just going in, I mean, we tell each other no matter what, we love each other more every day. And so uh, I guess, you know, yeah, I, I love him more today than I loved him yesterday. There you go. Congratulations on the wedding. What a week it was for you, and congratulations on capping it off with a big win. Thank you so much.